the sense of being, the sense that I have that I am, without any stories, doesn't go away. It stays the sense, the, the presence of I am. So which one am I here? Am I the I am or I am the body? So, in fact, you use this, you turn this unfortunate or negative or, or um, poison, poisonous situation, you know, into medicine. You switch it. You use this pain as your teacher to come back inside to this place. And as this shift begin to happen, then you're going to see the magic takes place. Something will shift. I don't want to say what, but you're going to see a new a quality of life. Something presents in your life that wasn't there before. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. thanks, for, thanks for asking your question of you who join us from the zoom uh you get a copy of it so we'll send it to you also um same academy minus the meditation is on my facebook page so you can find it there too and it goes on my youtube page so in case if you feel like you want to go back and rewind the tape and uh listen to this again um for those of you who are in California, in Southern California, I still have a series of uh, talks, the 5D Quantum Awareness Talk Series, they continue. I'm offering them for free every Wednesday here in Los Angeles at Gateway, the portal on Venice Boulevard, and every Thursday at, in Long Beach at a place called the Healing Key uh, Center. So both events, both evenings, 5D Quantum Awareness Talk Series, they're free. You're welcome to join in from 7.30 to 9.30 in the evening. I'm also, uh, I will be heading to Norway. Uh, oh, I have two more uh, events here in Los Angeles. I have the five, Fifth Dimensional Quantum Healing Training Program, uh, which is, is the healing modality that I teach. And that's going to be on uh, the April 13th and 14th here in Los Angeles. As well as a one-day workshop in Long Beach, which is going to be about return to love. That's the title of the workshop, Discover Your Inner Peace. I believe I'm, I'm giving the same workshop in Hamar. Is that right? Uh, Hilda, return yes, to love. Right. Yeah, right. right. I, have, I have so many things going on right now that I, I forget. Forgive me if I'm asking about the title of my own workshop because I, I have about like 30 different events coming. So sometimes I forget where I'm doing what. So I need a little reminder. Um, well, we'll be heading to Norway on 22nd of April, and I'll be in Hamar for one week. After that, we, I'm offering a few events in Stockholm. There's going to be two free events and a paid workshop in Stockholm. Um, I'm going to be putting it up on my website soon. Uh, what are we doing after that? Okay, one week in Gothenburg. Those of you who are close by or you know any friends want to come to my events in uh, Gothenburg. Uh, then one week in Warsaw, a week in Frankfurt, and, and a week in Paris, France. Um, at the beginning of July, from July 1st to 11th, I'm doing my signature uh, healing training program. That's my signature workshop in the middle of Sweden in the mountains in a place called Ore. And it's a very high vibrational area. And those of you who've been with me, you, you know 
how powerful and transformative it is. And those of you who are interested to get information about it, if you, you can contact Pia uh, or Anneli on my website, or you can contact us and talk to Shishi and we'll get your information. Uh, we're going to be in Ore for 10, uh, 11 days and 10 nights. Um, hold on a second. Uh, Rosalie, you have a question? Yeah, I just wonder what time you're coming with all the book. What's that? That book you should write. Oh, my Have second you book. It? Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the second book, actually, as I, I finished it, I have, to, I have to finish the editing. And it's halfway done. Right. Okay, because I like to have it. You know, I tell you what, if next time, <laughs> let's put a deadline on this and hold me to it. How about if we put the deadline for the second book, we say by October 1st, 2019, I put it out. How's that? I make a commitment online that the second book will be out ready by October 1st, 2019. How's that? Yeah, I have to send a Shishi a chain then so she can lock you up to, to finish the book. I know. I mean, every day when I come here, she has a stick in her hand and she wants to spank me because, because I've been a bad boy and I haven't done my homework. So, <laughs> so I have to get... I got to... <laughs> I'll get it done. I'll get it done. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, very nice seeing you all. Sending you lots of love and light. And uh, again, one last message. Come, come back to the center. <clears throat> Ignore your mind. Ignore the thoughts. And if you're really looking for freedom, you have to ignore the events in the world as well. Because what they do, it just stimulates your mind. That's what it does. If you want freedom, you have to go to this place that you disengage from everything. I know it sounds kind of funny, but... The world that you're really involved with is an animation of the collective mind. Our collective mind has created this world. So it's crazy and all the things happening in it, but it's what's happening inside yourself. That's why you're seeing it and it's affecting you. It's really really mirroring a crazy mind. That's what it does. So, if you become quiet within and you become still, I'm not saying that the world is going to disappear and it becomes non-existing, but it loses its effect on you. And, and you change your vibrations your vibrations will change to a higher frequency. And in that change, as your frequency changes, the world that you're perceiving hostile, the life that you think it's, it's cruel, you start to find life very sweet. It changes. You find life is actually very accommodating because your mind is no longer there to say, this sucks. It shouldn't be like this. It should be like that. You simply fall into the be, And you are here. You're aware. You're still breathing. You're still having a drink. You're still eating your food. But your mind doesn't go anywhere. You're simply here because you have 
discovered the, the now, that life only happens here in now. And then the magic takes over. Really, the li your life really begins from this moment on, and it takes over. And you start to see how perfectly everything is synchronized. And your anxiety, your judgment, your anger, your fear, everything will disappear. So, but it all happens with one movement, and that is bringing your attention to the center of yourself. And then everything changes. It's not very, very difficult. You can do it. And if you're hearing these words, it's something inside you recognizes freedom. That's why we're here together. This is very easy to do. Because you've tried everything else and it doesn't work. And that's why we're here. So what do I have to lose to try this? Nothing. I have nothing to lose if I try this. You try it and you stay with it and then see what happens. Namaste. Thank you.